Every time you step into an elevator and those doors slide shut automatically behind you, you're experiencing technology invented by a black man whose name most people have never heard. We take it for granted now. Doors that open when the elevator arrives, close when it leaves, and never leave you staring into a dark shaft where one wrong step means death. But this wasn't always how elevators worked. In the late 1800s, Elevator shafts were death traps, and people fell to their deaths regularly because someone forgot to close a door. The man who solved this problem was Alexander Miles, a black inventor and businessman who turned a moment of terror into a safety breakthrough that's still protecting lives today. Alexander Miles was born on May 18, 1838 in Pickaway County, Ohio. Not much is known about his early years, which is typical for black historical figures whose stories were deemed unworthy of careful record-keeping. But we do know that by the 1860s, he'd settled in Waukesha, Wisconsin, working as a barber. This wasn't just any barbershop job. Alexander was skilled, ambitious, and had a mind that never stopped working on how to make things better. In 1870, while living in Winona, Minnesota, he met Candace Dunlap, a woman from New York City. They married, and in 1876, their daughter Grace was born. Shortly after, the family moved to Duluth, Minnesota, a city on the shores of Lake Superior that was growing fast with industry and commerce. In Duluth, Alexander's barbershop became legendary. A local newspaper called it the best shop in the state of Minnesota. People came from all over for his cuts in his conversation. But Alexander wasn't content with just being the best barber in town. He saved his money, invested in real estate, and became the first black member of the Duluth Chamber of Commerce. That was huge. A black man, in the late 1800s, sitting at the table with white business owners, treated as an equal in the business world. In 1884, Alexander built himself a three-story brownstone building that became known as the Miles Block. It was beautiful, with ornate stone carvings and a striking brick facade, and it had elevators. This is where everything changed. The story of what inspired Alexander varies depending on who's telling it. Some say he could hear the elevator operating near his barbershop in the four-story St. Louis Hotel and started thinking about how dangerous it was. Others say that one day, while riding in an elevator with young Grace, he noticed an elevator shaft door left carelessly open. One version even claims Grace herself nearly fell down a shaft, almost ending her life. Whatever the exact moment, Alexander saw the problem clearly. Elevators in the 1880s were terrifying. You had to manually open and close both the elevator car door and the shaft door on every single floor. Either the elevator operator did it or passengers did it themselves and people forgot, all the time. They'd leave shaft doors standing wide open, and someone would walk up expecting to step into an elevator, only to plunge stories down into darkness. People died from this constantly. Construction workers carrying heavy loads couldn't manage the doors. Regular folks just making a mistake. Children. The death toll from open elevator shafts was a known hazard of city life, accepted as just the way things were. Alexander Miles refused to accept it. He looked at the problem and realized something simple but brilliant. If human error was killing people, then you had to remove the human error from the equation. He designed a system using a flexible belt attached to the elevator cage. When the belt made contact with drums positioned along the elevator shaft just above and below each floor, it triggered a series of levers and rollers that automatically opened and closed both the shaft door and the elevator door. No human intervention needed. No forgotten doors. No open shafts waiting to swallow someone. On October 11, 1887, Alexander Miles was granted United States Patent No. 71207 for his automatic elevator door system. Now, here's something important to understand. Alexander Miles did not invent the elevator itself. Elevators already existed, and he wasn't even the first person to patent an automatic door system. A man named John Meeker had patented something similar back in 1874, but Meeker's design never caught on. It was Miles' version, his specific innovation with the belts, drums, levers, and rollers that became widely adopted and transformed how elevators actually worked in the real world. The timing couldn't have been better. Just two years earlier, in 1885, the world's first steel frame skyscraper had been completed in Chicago, the home insurance building. Cities were starting to build upward, chasing the sky. New York, Chicago, Boston, all of them were constructing taller and taller buildings. But there was a problem. Buildings taller than about six stories were basically useless if people couldn't move between floors safely and easily. 
Nobody wanted to climb 15 flights of stairs every day, and nobody wanted to risk their life every time they took an elevator. Alexander Miles' automatic door system didn't make skyscrapers possible. That required innovations in steel frames, deep foundations, and electric-powered elevator motors. But what Miles did was make elevators dramatically safer and more practical. His invention helped transform elevators from dangerous novelties that required trained operators into reliable, everyday conveniences that anyone could use. That safety and reliability made tall buildings more attractive to build and more comfortable to work in. Think about it. Without automatic doors, every office building would need elevator operators working around the clock, manually opening and closing doors. The cost alone would have made many buildings financially impossible. The accidents would have made them nightmares to ensure. Miles' invention removed both problems. By the early 1900s, automatic elevator door systems had become standard in construction. Skyscrapers soared higher and higher, and elevators became symbols of modernity and progress. Office towers housed the machinery of finance and government. Apartment buildings redefined how people lived. Department stores with multiple floors transformed shopping. All of it relied on being able to move people vertically without fear. Yet despite creating technology that saved countless lives and became essential to modern cities, Alexander Miles remained relatively unknown. This wasn't unusual for black inventors. The pattern repeated itself over and over. Granville Woods, called the Black Edison, patented dozens of electrical innovations but struggled for recognition. Elijah McCoy invented lubrication systems that kept engines running smoothly, but few people knew his name. Black inventors were creating breakthroughs that shaped America's industrial growth, but white institutions and historians rarely gave them credit. In 1899, Alexander and his family moved to Chicago, where he founded the United Brotherhood, a life insurance company. This wasn't just another business venture, it was an act of justice. White-owned insurance companies routinely refused to sell life insurance to black people or charge them impossibly high rates. Alexander's company specifically served black customers who'd been denied coverage elsewhere. He saw discrimination and built a solution. The family later moved to Seattle, where Alexander was known as the wealthiest black man in the Pacific Northwest. He eventually returned to working as a barber, the trade he'd always loved. He died on May 7, 1918, at the age of nearly 80. For decades after his death, his name faded from memory. History books didn't mention him. Architecture classes didn't teach about him. The elevators that used his technology carried millions of people safely every single day, but nobody knew who'd made them safe. It wasn't until 2007, almost 90 years after his death, that Alexander Miles was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Finally, official recognition. Finally, his name placed alongside other great inventors. But even now, most people have never heard of him. This erasure wasn't an accident. The history of technology has always reflected who had power in society. When black people, especially in the 19th and early 20th centuries, contributed to major innovations, their work was often written out of the story, minimized, or attributed to white contemporaries. Their labor was acknowledged only when absolutely necessary, and their genius was systematically downplayed. What makes Alexander Miles' story so important isn't just what he invented, it's what his invention represented. He saw people dying from a problem that everyone else accepted as normal, and he refused to accept it. He used his skills, his mind, and his determination to create something that made the world genuinely safer. His invention wasn't about making money or gaining fame. It was about saving lives. Every modern elevator still uses the basic principle Alexander Miles patented in 1887. Automatic doors that open and close at the right time, protecting passengers from the shaft. When you ride to the hundredth floor of a skyscraper in New York or Dubai or Shanghai, when you press a button and doors slide smoothly shut behind you, when you arrive at your floor and step out without ever thinking about danger, you're experiencing the legacy of a black barber from Duluth who saw a problem and fixed it. The gleaming skylines of modern cities, the towering buildings that define urban life today, they don't just stand on steel and concrete. They stand on innovations like Alexander Miles' automatic elevator doors. Innovations created by people whose names were hidden, whose contributions were erased, whose genius was denied. To remember Alexander Miles is to challenge the lie that technological progress was built only by white men. It's to recognize that black inventors, black businessmen, black fathers protecting their daughters, black Americans fighting discrimination while simultaneously building the modern world, they were there all along. Their hands built it. 
Their minds imagined it. Their courage pushed it forward. So the next time you step into an elevator and those doors close automatically behind you, remember him. Remember the black inventor who made skyscrapers safer, who saved countless lives, whose name deserves to be known. Alexander Miles changed how we build cities and it's time everyone knew his name. There's another inventor whose story will change how you see the world.